Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to quickly and easily install Bootstrap in your Angular application in just a few minutes. Okay, first of all I wanna check which version of Angular I have in my local machine. So ng space v. So I have now Angular CLI 18.2.8 node version 20.18.0 and npm 10.8.2 so these are all latest version at this moment now let's create a project ng new um, angular 18 bootstrap okay i'm gonna use css no all right packages installed successfully okay let's navigate to the project Now open in Visual Studio Code. Okay. If we expand node underscore modules, then I do not see anything bootstrap. Right? So there is no bootstrap. So we need to install bootstrap for that let's go to the npm you can search by npm go to the home page find out the bootstrap okay so to install bootstrap the npm package we can use this command npm i bootstrap okay we can copy the command from here then let's go to the visual studio open the terminal then we can execute the command here well it has been added now if we look into the node modules we should see bootstrap here okay if we click and expand we should see the dist folder that has js files and css files okay that's now ready all right now we can navigate to our angular.json and here if you see it has a styles also scripts right so here we need to attach the bootstrap css file and here we need to add the script right for bootstrap so that is gonna be let's go to the bootstrap For JS, we can use bootstrap.js. More specifically, we want to use bootstrap.min.js. Minified file, right? So we need to attach this file. So what we can do, we can add the reference there. Well, right click, copy path, and paste it here well this should be in the quotation and i want to use the path from node modules and this is gonna be forward slash okay similarly we need to add 
reference for CSS CSS is here okay um, yep it's here bootstrap dot main dot CSS copy the path and paste it here I want to use from path from node modules also change the slash to backslash I mean forward slash okay now we can collapse this node modules save now we can open another terminal here now let's run ng serp okay yep so this is our sample uh, angular app now what we can do let's go back to the other terminal let's create a component create a folder give it a name components let's navigate to that components then create a new component ng g for generate c for component and give the component name let's say products okay okay let's expand that products component okay and then what is the selector we have app dash products okay now let's go to the app dot component dot html let's remove all of this default html and add the selector here okay so i did save that one Mm, now I see it shows an error that app dash products is not a non element because we did not import that products component right so what we have to do we have to import that products component save it now now it should be good okay build succeeded now let's go back to our browser yep it is coming from products works okay so i want to add some html here that includes bootstrap classes so that we can verify that bootstrap is working right for that i can go to the bootstrap which is get bootstrap.com okay examples or documents so here i'm gonna use table something like this table dash striped okay so we need to have this table a structure copy that come back here first of all i want to add a class called container and here I can add one h1 tag let's say product list then I want to add the table okay so this is our table structure now let's save it and go back to the browser let's see how it looks like yep it is showing up right okay now we can add t hat okay in the t hat we're gonna add tier in the tier we can have multiple th right table header let's say id another th for title oops the other one 
price maybe quantity okay and then t body in the t body we are gonna have another tier the tier we're gonna have td table data right so product id this is gonna be let's say red t-shirt price 9.49 um quantity 10 you can also use dollar sign here similarly we have a couple more okay save it now let's go to the ui yep now it is showing up as expected right so it is table stripe so that means this bootstrap is working now we can also verify from the browser right click inspect let's go to the css class well this table.css is it is coming from bootstrap slash scss then table scss right and if we see this container is also coming from bootstrap all right so we can verify that bootstrap is working as expected if you don't mind please hit the subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you can see the future videos just like this also please like and share the videos thank you see you in the next episode